Alright, guys. Well. It is Friday, December 10th. And, uh, it's the second to last day of the rifle season here in Pennsylvania. I'm in a new area. Hunted here many years ago with my buddy Tim. And I'm going back to meet him today. He's had some knee surgeries. So, uh, we haven't hunted together in a while. And this is his last hunting opportunity until the late season. So, I'm gonna head back and meet up with him. And hopefully, we're bringing a deer out tonight. So, I'll see you guys when I catch up with Tim. settled in. I'm sitting on the ground tonight. Um, I talked to Tim as I was walking in. He's up above me about 250 yards. So, and he's on the other side of, uh, there's a, there's a power line, tower line, whatever you want to call it out here. And he's on the other side of it. He's got a really heavy trail, a lot of fresh deer sign and whatnot. So hopefully he gets a shot at something tonight. He saw one this morning, but it didn't come out of the thick stuff and then it winded them so I've got some ponds over my shoulder here a bunch of evergreens hardwoods to my right and a bunch of thick stuff over my right shoulder it's like an old path that I walked in on here a lot of rubs on this path as I was coming in so saw some deer sign Go to places any, right? I can see the power line out here, so I can shoot to that. And um, I can shoot anywhere to my left. And if something's coming, I can shoot, I'm gonna shoot straight up. If it gets past this tree that's right here that the camera's on, I'm not gonna shoot because I'll be shooting at Tim. So I'm just gonna let them go. So if I can hear them coming, it's really nice and quiet. I can get ready and uh, try and get a shot somewhere back in here if need be. So, there's a lot of deer sign. Just a matter of being in the right place at the right time. Beautiful evening. It's warmer than normal, but uh, in here it's cooler, so just gonna sit back and relax and, and enjoy the hunt. Uh, 10 after 3 heard one shot so far seemed like it was out past on the other side of the tower line here so haven't seen any deer yet every now and then I hear some moving but it could be a squirrel that I can't see I thought I heard a twig break back over my shoulder here. And when I looked back, I saw orange. I don't know if he came down in off of the main path, but it was the, the hunter was walking away from me and I saw him kind of walking across up here now, heading out to the power line.
I saw him out on the power line up there. He was, I don't know if he went across and kept going or not. Keep my eyes peeled though, cause if he's walking around, he might kick something up. Hopefully he has permission where he's going because he's up in the posted ground now. Tim just called me. He said he saw about six deer heading down my direction. So he said one was a buck. It looked pretty big. I just gotta keep my eyes peeled here. Well, somebody just shot. I don't know who it was. It sounded like it was back here. All right, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try sneaking closer to that power line just to be able to see if there's anything on there. I'll point the camera out where I'm walking and see what happens. Well, I'm gonna start packing up. I didn't see anything out there. And uh, the side by side went up the uh, power line. Yo. Up, pal. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's just the guy in the floor. Something side by side decided to come out. Yep. Early. Yep. I know. <laughs> All right. They never showed up? No, I never saw them. I heard that shot close by me but I don't I never saw a deer they may have yeah yep yeah they could have I was watching but no I never saw them okay I know okay all right bye all right guys well got a little exciting there Tim had some action. Thought the deer were gonna come to me, but they might have cut between us. And it's pretty thick, and there was a shot back here, so. Oh well. We got one more day. It's supposed to rain tomorrow. I'm gonna head down to the farm and give it a try in the morning and see what happens, so. Time to pack up. See you on the next one. Well, good morning. It is the last day of the Pennsylvania rifle season. Um. It's quarter after six, so I got about a half hour till legal shooting. And then, uh, keep our fingers crossed. Um, we had some thunder and lightning and heavy downpours this morning and it's supposed to rain pretty much throughout the whole day with some winds. Um, really not the best wind today, but, uh, crappy all around but I'm 
was out last night, didn't see anything. A lot of deer sign in the area where we were, but with the weather today and whatnot, I'm, uh, I'm down, uh, down on our cousin's farm in between the ponds. I'm sitting in a ground blind this morning. And uh, hopefully we can catch something sneaking around here. It seems like the rain has kind of let up a little bit right now and we should be good until about nine or 10 o'clock. So I sit for the morning. I don't think I'm gonna be able to sit all day but uh, hopefully we can catch either a big doe or get lucky with a nice buck. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the gun loaded up here and uh, sit tight and relax, pull out some coffee, and uh, wait for daylight. Pretty good feeling there's deer bedded behind me in this thicket, so. I think I'm gonna pull this Tacticam and the one out here. And I'm just gonna do a little spot and stalk, see if I can't get close to something. And maybe have a chance at a shot. Should be pretty quiet. Take my time. It's getting warm. It's almost 50 degrees. We should be good on rain until like 2 o'clock this afternoon. So I'm going to try and hunt the morning. And then that'll probably be it because it's going to rain pretty hard this afternoon.
while. They were there. <laughs> right where I thought they were going to be laying in the stick stuff. There was actually four of them. I think one was a smaller buck. But uh, what I did was I, I went straight down this little ditch. And there's a pond right here and I walked that bank because the last time I came through here last Saturday I came from the other side and those deer were all bedded in there and when they got up and started running I couldn't I couldn't see them until they got up on the bank and then when I had them in my scope you know I couldn't shoot because there was houses behind you know um, in the uh, in the backdrop in the horizon so it just wasn't a safe shot so I didn't shoot so I figured I'll come across the top and see if I could see down in there well I never even saw them they just I heard one do a quick blow and they stood up three went to the right I just saw bodies and tails and then one j uh, hopped up 40 yards and stood there in front of me I could have shot it but I was shooting right at I would have been shooting right at a house across the road now I know I was shooting down but uh there was a gentleman walked down his driveway to get his mail. I just didn't want to take that shot and startle him, have him get upset. So I was kind of hoping that deer was just standing there. And um, I was waiting for him to kind of go back and then the deer started to walk to the right. Um, and it never spooked that I could see. Um, the other three took off running around the big pond. and. Um, but I never saw this one. I think it's still in there, but I don't know where it is. I came back through across the top of that that pond again, but I didn't see it. But it's so thick in there, that thing just could be laying in there, hiding, laying still. I don't know. So, I'm just going to sit here and cool down a little bit. and I don't know. Uh, there's not much activity. I haven't heard any more shooting. That could be the only deer in here. There's nothing here. So, I don't know. I'm going to sit tight and just think and figure out what I want to do. i got a little bit of time left, but it's getting really warm. It's supposed to get almost 60 degrees today, which is crazy. We'll see.